Joseph and Mary were happily married. They were both devoted to each other and were eagerly awaiting the birth of Jesus. However, a few months before Jesus was to be born, Joseph came to know that Augustus, who was the Roman emperor at that time, had issued an order asking all citizens to get themselves registered in their hometowns to determine how much tax they had to pay. Mary, come and sit down here. We need to go to Bethlehem. That is my hometown, and as per the emperor's order, I have to get myself and you registered there. But don't worry. I'll make sure you're comfortable and well taken care of. Do you think I will be able to travel that far in my condition? Isn't Bethlehem very far? Well, it'll take about four to five days to get there. Maybe a bit longer even. But I'll be with you and I'll make sure no harm comes to you. And since I belong to the house of David, it would make me very happy if Jesus is born in my hometown. Mary looked upon Joseph as her spiritual soulmate and wanted to stay by him in all his decisions. So a few days later, Mary and Joseph packed a few belongings and got ready to travel to Bethlehem. Joseph made Mary sit on a donkey and he then led the way. I hope you're comfortable, my dear. When you want to rest, please let me know. Along the way, they saw many people who were also traveling to get themselves registered in their hometowns. But was this just a coincidence that Mary and Joseph had to go to Bethlehem just before the birth of Christ? Apparently not because it had been predicted about 700 years earlier that a Messiah would be born in the town of Bethlehem. We have been traveling for four days now, Joseph. How many days more do you think it will take us to reach Bethlehem? I am getting tired now. I don't think it'll take, hmm, more than a day or two, Mary. I can understand that you must be very tired would you like to rest for some time? So on Joseph and Mary trudged, till they finally were in sight of Bethlehem. Look, Mary, there is Bethlehem. Soon we'll reach there, and you can then rest. No, no, I am okay. Let us go as far as we can before nightfall. The faster we travel, the quicker we will reach Bethlehem. Tears of joy streamed down Mary's face, having finally reached their destination. She was very tired and longing for a comfortable rest and sleep. Ah, finally, we have reached. Let's look around for a room in some inn. However, there seemed to be a lot of travelers in Bethlehem at that time, and Joseph could not find any room. He was very worried about Mary, as she looked very tired. Don't worry, my dear. We've come this far. God will surely help us. Again they started looking around for a room, but with no success. Finally, however, an innkeeper, seeing their tired faces and Mary's condition, told them that he did not have a room, but he could let them stay in the stable. Oh, thank you. Thank you, kind sir. We shall rest at the stable. And this is how Joseph and Mary reached Bethlehem and stayed in a stable.